Tonight, we're tracking new developments in a Baltimore cold case stretching back decades. The death of Joyce Malecki is among several disappearances and deaths highlighted in the Netflix documentary, The Keepers. And now we have learned that her remains will be exhumed. As WJZ is live along Wilkins Avenue tonight, Paul Gessler joins us from Loudon Park Cemetery. That's over in West Baltimore. And Paul, this is a significant development coming decades later. So what more are we learning tonight? It really is. The FBI doesn't, doesn't just do this every day. Malecki died in 1969. She was just 20 years old. Her disappearance just days after beloved teacher, Sister Kathy Sesnick. So this is, yeah, these are the Malecki papers. Joyce Malecki disappeared November 11th, 1969. Her body found just two days later at Fort Meade. Malecki's murder, one of several spotlighted in the 2017 Netflix documentary, The Keepers. The same time as WJZ's year-long investigation into five unsolved murders, all with alleged ties to Father Joseph Maskell. Now, Malecki's family has been notified her body will be exhumed, according to an investigator with the Maryland Crime Victims Resource Center. It's closure, uh, at least the beginnings of closure. Freelance journalist Tom Nugent spent 20 years working on the story and is featured prominently in the Keeper's documentary. FBI and police and so on are realizing it's in their interest now to go back and dig up whatever it is. Maskell died in 2001. He's accused of sexually abusing at least 39 young people, according to this report released in April by Maryland's Attorney General. Maskell's body was exhumed in 2017 by Baltimore County Police investigating the death of Sister Kathy Sesnick, but there was no evidence tying him to her crime scene. Malecki attended Mass with Maskell and lived near the church's rectory. Nugent says this week's news shows something has changed in the investigation. Maybe no more. The fact, then the fact that the Catholic Church has lost so much of its power that they can now come in out of the cold and do what they should have done so many years ago. Back live now here outside Loudon Park Cemetery, and it is unclear when Malecki's body will be exhumed. Joyce's brother Daryl tells me he will be here when it happens. He tells me the family welcomes this news, and they have not given up on their effort to find her killer. For now, reporting live at 5, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.